right, Charlie Daniels with a classic performance of the South's going to do it again, singing about Leonard Skinner and the Allman Brothers. Of course, he was a Hall of Fame country music legend, a member of the Grand Ole Opry, and a national treasure whom we lost this week. A statement from his publicist said Daniels died this week at a hospital in Tennessee. Doctors said he had a stroke. His career was celebrated outside of country music as well. He even joined Bob Dylan once upon a time on his famous Nashville Skyline record, and he shot to fame after this appearance in the 1980 movie Urban Cowboy starring John Travolta and, of course, Charlie Daniels playing himself in the iconic song The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Never gets old. He was also good friends with our good friend, Newsmax contributor Bernie Carrick. Daniels has always been a strong supporter of military and law enforcement. And Carrick, of course, the former New York City police commissioner, grew close with Daniels over the years. Here's our conversation with Bernie on his friend and legend, Charlie Daniels. Well, Bernie, uh, of course, it's always great to talk to you. Uh, and it was bittersweet for me to see your tribute to Charlie on social media this week. I had no idea you were such good friends with him. And we just had you on our show Monday to talk about all the violence we're seeing. And then less than an hour later, we found out Charlie had died. Tell us how you two became so close, because uh, I'll be honest, it seems a little bit like an odd couple. You from New York, Charlie from North Carolina originally. Um, but the pictures tell the story. You guys were obviously great friends. Uh, several years ago, we were invited, Charlie and I, as guest speakers um, to the Dietz family uh, memorial. Danny Dietz was a U.S. Navy SEAL that was killed in Afghanistan, along with Michael Murphy and, uh, and another. Um, and that, that, uh, their episode, if you will, was um, captured in the movie Lone Survivor. So Danny Dietz's mom uh, invited Charlie and I to one of the Deets fundraisers, and we went down, we were the guest speakers, and uh, that was the first time I met him. And uh, we hit it off. Uh, we hit it off for one, one specific reason. Um, I, I think it was for the love of country. Um, Charlie Daniels was a patriot uh, beyond, uh, bigger and, and stronger and, and, and more adamant than, than anybody I know, anybody I know personally. Um, he was a historian. Uh, I think many people wouldn't know that he was uh, an, an, an extreme supporter of Israel. Um, he, you know, he was just a great, great man with a great heart. Um, somebody that uh, once you get to know him, you can't not love him. And uh, you know, he's he's loved by millions. His, his music uh, is iconic. His music is American. It's patriotic. So many um, great songs. You know, he played the, the South's Gonna Do It Again. The Devil Went Down to Georgia. What is your favorite Charlie Daniels song? Probably The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yeah. Um, uh, the Woolly Swamp. Uh, you know, when, uh, when I first met him, I asked him about the Woolly Swamp song. And, uh, and he got up in front of an audience by himself. And he said, this is a song I'm playing just for the commissioner. And, uh, and he <laughs> played that song alone. And it was, it was really, uh, it was phenomenal, really phenomenal. I see you getting choked up, Bernie. I, you know, um, that song is iconic. I'm from Georgia, and of course, anyone from Georgia loves that song. I think if you don't, there's, you know, maybe you're not really from Georgia. But uh, you also share with me a couple of pictures of a fiddle and a custom hat that Charlie gave you. And I would imagine, considering how iconic his fiddle playing was and how iconic he looked in that hat, you could identify him just by his silhouette, that that has to be, you know, maybe, maybe the greatest honor anyone can get from somebody like Charlie Daniels. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, we had some great times. Uh, I've done a number of charity events for him. Um, the Journey Home Project, and I, and I want to touch on this, John, if I sure. can, for a second. The Journey Home Project was is a is an organization that Charlie created uh, to support our veterans uh, returning from war, um, to look after them uh, with regard to P PTSD, um, educational services, uh, things like that. So I, I urge uh, the viewers today on Newsmax to look up the journeyhomeproject.org, um, make a donation on Charlie's behalf. Um, you know, he, he was a great man. He did great things for our country. Hundreds of trips uh, and, and, and meetings to, for, uh, for the USO and, and uh, you know, our military veterans. And, and I have to tell you, John, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of end with this. You know, every year he does this 
he does this thing for the Journey Home Project. It's a it's a charity event in uh, in Nashville. And somebody asked me one time what it was like, and I said, well, I guess what it's like is you have half a room in the Palm Restaurant that are all country music awardees and, and country music stars and, and country music supporters. And then the other half of the room are every one of our special operations forces, mm. the special operations groups out of Fort Bragg, Navy SEALs, you name it, they all came together as one every year. And uh, and, and I really got to know him through those events and, and, uh, and hang out with him, sit with him, talk with him, and see how much he did uh, for um, for the, the American uh, veteran, and uh, you know, he, it, he irreplaceable. will be sorely, I mean, sorely missed. Irreplaceable, really, really unbelievable. And that's why it was important to us to have this conversation with you, Bernie, so we can carry on his legacy. Make sure we support the project. We'll put the uh, web address on the screen night, right now. Tell us, tell Absolutely. us again one more Thank time. You. The name? Uh, the journeyhomeproject.org. Journeyhomeproject.org. We'll get the information up on the screen. We encourage everybody to donate on Charlie's uh, behalf and honor his legacy. Like we said, he can't be replaced, but we can carry on his memories. And Bernie, thank you for sharing uh, your stories of Charlie Daniels with us and our viewers. We really appreciate it. Thank you, John. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.